this humble, we'll call it, we won't say homely, humble wearover pen that I got on eBay recently. I had a sack that worked perfectly fine, probably never really had been used. It has a special alloy nib on it, but as I wrote with it, tested it out, I could see that there was a little tiny bit of give, and it pushed around and worked, so I, I in Zoom I did a drawing of a guy who poses for people like me, and came up with a bunch of nice drawings using a wherever pen. Not a wall, not a waterman, not a wort, not a weidlich, but a wherever. So, who knew? Um, there was occasionally, though only occasionally, a, a bit of skipping, and I think part of that is due to their plastic feed. I don't trust p plastic feeds. And, um, but anyway, I was, I wasn't surprised really, because I've owned hundreds of these things and sold dozens, <laughs> which mean I have hundreds left in a drawer somewhere. And some wherever pens are just downright crappy. And some wherever pens are almost first tier. But um, most of their stuff was a little bit below what I would consider good functional pens, but they did make some that were okay. And um, this is one that is okay. For those of you purists out there, there's a little chip out of the top screw clip holder on her, but that's minor. I wonder if this one has an inner cap. Some of these don't have inner caps, which are not good. This one does. What do you know? So, anyway, wherever. If you're going to use a, use a pen for writing, not necessarily for drawing, but for writing, I would think this would write as well as any Montblanc or pen that you can buy today for hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars. Ta-da!